this morning is getting good this morning. And let me go ahead and read from Psalms 4, verse 1. It says, Answer me when I call to you, O my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Well, here's the problem when God is hearing your prayer. The thing that you are praying for, my sister, the thing you are praying for, my brother, is for God to bless your mess. That's right. I said it. You are in a mess right now and you are asking God to bless that. Now why do you want God to bless your mess? Because you just said to him, be merciful, which means I know I'm in a mess. I know I've made bad decisions. So please be merciful as you are blessing me in this. But the mess that you are in is not the mess that God wanted for you. The mess that he had for you was actually a mess that was actually going to be something that was going to be truly a blessing. Let me say it again. The mess that you're in is not the mess that God had for you. The mess that God had for you is a mess that God would have blessed you with that would have truly been a blessing. So when you are asking for God to bless you, make sure you are not currently in a mess. You know how you know it's a mess? Because you are so upset that you had to pay this man's car note. That's right, I said it, brother. She paid your car note. Now, don't judge the man because the woman's paying his car note. Because the sister asked for it. She said, I love him. Father, please bless him to get a job. He didn't get a job. Why? Because he was sitting on the sofa playing PlayStation. I know you were, and you know you were. You can't lie to the father. You sit on the sofa playing PlayStation while your woman is out at work on the front lines, taking care of people in the hospital, doing everything she can, and using all the skills that God blessed her with to do the job that she does in a manner that blesses people. And she blesses you, my brother, because she pays your car new. But yet you, my sister, have said, Lord, please bless my mess. In other words, brother, you are a mess. But there is a God who will be there for you. And he will turn you around so that you are no longer a mess. He will look right into the soul of your whole body. And he will get you up off of that sofa. And you will no longer have a desire, an inkling, or even the doggone inclination to pick up a joystick and play in that kind of game. Because you will realize, I have made this woman's life a mess. And I can no longer make it a mess. I have got to fix myself. Oh, glory, I'm no longer going to play PlayStation. I don't give a darn about Call of Duty. I need to get on the phone. I need to go to Google. I need to find a job. So I am no longer a mess. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. 